空の桜井正彦です。I am Masahiro Sakurai, the director of the Super Smash Brothers series. You're probably surprised to see me here, as development on Ultimate was said to have concluded a few years ago. Well, it turns out we still had a few more ideas left, so once again, I'm here to bring you the latest news on the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Let's get to it. See this? It's called a shield. Most of you casual players are probably seeing this for the first time, but every fighter has one. You can actually block the opponent's attacks. Some actions can even be performed directly out of shielding. So if you've been getting hopelessly bodied by your friends at every party, learning how to play the game should prove helpful. The next balance update will remove jumping out of shield. This is being replaced with a new jump parry system. Within three frames of dropping your shield, simply press the jump button on your opponent's controller, and your character will automatically perform a short hopped aerial attack. This may be easiest for players with longer arms. Try it out! Speaking of actions performed in the air, fighters can now perform only one air dodge per match. Use it wisely. The following update will remove dodging altogether. We hope this will improve your gameplay experience. Next, I'd like to discuss some upcoming changes to the roster of playable fighters. Ultimate has a lot of fighters to choose from, and everyone has their favorites. I wanted to find out which characters are most popular among the players, so I looked at all the fan art I could find online. We are removing Isabel from the game. Mistakes were made. Were you happy to see the Ice Climbers make their triumphant return? We may have toned them down a bit too much compared to previous entries, so the next balance update restores Nana's original abilities with a small twist. She now has a special grab which only works on Popo. Use it to throw your Ice Climber directly off the stage. Great news for all you Bayonetta fans out there. Although the Umbra Witch has been a rare sight in tournaments these days, she's going to be a top contender in the next Super Smash Bros. update. This patch retails for $39.99 and is available exclusively for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. But it's not just the playable characters we've been working on. You may have noticed that, while Ganondorf has appeared in four different Smash games, he's never had an up-tilt attack. This was due to a small programming error. I made sure to take care of the programmer myself. So here is some development footage of Ganondorf's new up tilt in action. See that? The Ganondorf player was able to return to the character selection screen and transform into Zelda. That'll improve his matchups. Oh, and one more thing. That's right. Finally, Waluigi will be joining the Super Smash Bros. roster of playable fighters. Wow, he's sure lost some weight now that he's no longer an assist trophy. What big teeth he has. This is a side of Waluigi you've never seen before, but make no mistake, this is definitely Waluigi. This is what you asked for. Ooh, that's a lot of new content. When development on Ultimate originally concluded, I finally left the office and returned to my home. Did you know that I have a wife and child? I was surprised too. They tried to approach me in neutral, so by instinct I pivot cancelled a forward smash. That was not my best option. I will be staying at the office for a while longer. We hope that you enjoy this latest Super Smash Bros. update. Tune in next time when we'll discuss the brand new tournament mode, which automatically bans Meta Knight.